It's a cloudy Thursday night here in the Wabash Valley and some snow showing up on the storm team clouds and radar, the satellite here that we have. And you can see it in Iowa. And uh, this is not a real, real heavy snowfall, uh, although they've had some pretty good snows up there in Iowa and up into Wisconsin and so on. And uh, this is all part of a weather system that eventually is going to sort of wind its way down here from the northwest into portions of Illinois. And for those of us here in the News 10 viewing area, uh, the MyFox 10 viewing area. So we have a cloudy sky tonight and it will stay cloudy through the nighttime. It's going to be a kind of a cold night tonight as an overnight low drops into the 20s, the lower 20s, I would think. It's 30 degrees right now. It's 29 in Casey and Mattoon has 29, Indianapolis 30, Bloomington 31 degrees and uh, in Effingham we have 30. Now the wind right now is uh, edging its way from the south here in Linton, from the south west in Casey, from the southeast in Mattoon. And so when you see wind that's sort of variable like this, seeming to come from different directions, it lets us know that we don't have a really good strong gust of wind in any one particular direction. So it's just kind of moving around here willy nilly. And uh, you can see that the uh, wind is only three miles per hour here in Terre Haute. No wind in Linton, Robinson five miles per hour, Vincennes five, Mattoon seven. This is good news for those of you who have a lot of snow, especially down in Knox County, Davies County, Greene County and Owen County and so on. Uh, Mark was talking earlier about some of the uh, travel advisories that are still in effect, but the plows are gonna be able to get out there and, and get some of these roads cleared off and they're not gonna drift back shut because we don't have a really strong wind. Now it's six degrees in Bismarck, 18 in Billings, and Minneapolis has 20, still 30 degrees here in Terre Haute, and kind of a chilly 47 degrees in New Orleans. Now one thing I will point out is this system right here, this is what I showed you earlier that had to do with the snow in Iowa and also up into Minnesota. The next system that comes in, rather than the one that brought us all the snow that we had the other day, came from the southwest down here. It started in the panhandle of Oklahoma and came up down south of us. This one is going to drop from the northwest and come down. And almost always when a system comes from the northwest this time of year, if it's a snowmaker, it brings us a little bit of snow, but not a lot of snow. So we have the possibility for a little snow. Here's Friday tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. Chance for some few light snow showers tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow night. This is not a, a real big snowmaker. Might put a little bit more snow down on the ground. Not a whole lot more in the way of accumulation, maybe half an inch, maybe an inch at the very most, but I think that's about it. So cloudy and cold and a light breeze tonight, 22 degrees for the overnight low. Afternoon snow developing tomorrow. Lindsay Monroe will have more for you tomorrow morning. 33 degrees for the high tomorrow, so not bad. And then evening snow showers tomorrow night down to about 24 degrees. And the seven day forecast, so snow on Friday, Saturday and Sunday look to be a higher pressure. And so we clear off and become in fact partly cloudy. And then Monday, another little system could come in and bring us another chance for some snow for the last part of the year.